Hello friends, this video on organic chemistry part 40 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the next type of reaction is the condensation reaction. So two molecules of same or different organic reactants combine to form new product. In this what happens is, this is also called dehydration and the one which is lost is generally water, HCl, methanol, etc. For example, if you see this, this guy and this guy, when they're combining, this part is lost and they form this compound. This is called condensation reaction. The other can be I have CH3, COH. Right? I take two of these. When they react, I get CH3, COH, CH, CH. Two. This is what I get. Because they merged actually and it, it gives water. So in this case, it gave nothing, but the two things merged actually. This is called condensation reaction. The next type of reaction is called rearrangement reaction. So here, the rearrangement of atoms within the molecule takes place, and which has different properties. For example, this guy cyclohexane. If you have N2OH, it becomes cyclohexanoxane, and this when you pass with H2SO2, it becomes caprolactone. So if you see. The rearrangement happens. This is a ketone, this is amine. If you see the, the group also changed, right? So this is called a rearrangement reaction. We'll take some more examples from the rearrangement reaction. For example, I have NH4, CNO, this becomes NH2. This is urea. One more reaction I can take is I can take butane. You pass this with AlCl3, you heat this, you get 2 methyl propane acid. This is what you get. These are examples of rearrangement reactions. The next is pericyclic reaction. So, here the transition state of molecule has a cyclic geometry. Please note, you don't need any catalyst or no heat or light is required for this reaction. Here the transition state of molecule has cyclic geometry. For example, in this case, this happens on its own, right? So this X can be Cr2, Nr or O. This happens on its own, right? So this to exist. The way we have resonance, right? So this to exist. So we can have some more examples in the place. Cyclic example, I have CH2 double bond CH2. You add one more CH2 double bond CH2. Present light, you get this thing. Correct. So this was ethene, and you get what you got. What you got is cyclobutane. So here we have to identify the reagent shown in bold. The following equation as nucleophile or electrophile. It's pretty easy actually. So it has positive and negative charge. I know that uh, nucleophiles are the one which loves nucleus, right? So. Uh, nucleus has positive charge, so nucleophiles will get negative charge. And the electrophiles are one which loves electrons. Electrons have positive, negative charge, so they'll have positive charge. So this guy has negative charge, so it is nucleophile. OH minus is nucleophile. CN minus again negative charge, so this is also nucleophile. This is a positive charge. Correct. So we have to classify the reaction with uh, the reaction types. I know that nucleophile is negative charge and the electrophile is positive charge. This the difference I wrote here. So here if you see CS3CS2 or ethyl bromine, which HS minus gives this, right? Br is out. Br is out, that means HS minus attack. HS minus is what? Nucleophile. And there is a substitution happen. So this guy is nucleophilic substitution. Hope you understand this. See here HS minus has replaced the Br minus, right? So HS minus is what? Negative charge, nucleophile substitution happened, so it's substitution and the attack is by nucleophile, so it's nucleophilic substitution. The next is what I have this uh, let me draw this. 
C is 3, C is 3, C, and double bond. This guy is only having C double bond, C H2. Right, so you can draw here one H, here one H. This is the one, and I have here H plus and single minus, right? So one got attached to this guy, at least CL got attached to this guy, and H got attached to. Correct. So this is the addition here. Correct. And as I told, right? See, for addition reaction, I told. So if if we have ketones, it becomes minus, it becomes plus, and here my nucleophile attacks. Then we have nucleophilic addition. In case of alkenes, we always have electrophilic addition reaction. So it's electrophilic addition reaction. Correct. Right. The third reaction is uh, you have CH, C2H5Br, you have OH minus, and this becomes a double bond, right? It's the elimination. Br replaced, got replaced from here, you can uh, write this stuff here. CH3, CH2, Br. So from here Br is gone, from here hydrogen is gone and you got a double bond, right? You got CH2 double bond, CH2. This is an elimination reaction. So this is a elimination reaction. So here uh, elimination happened in two different carbons, so it is beta elimination. Correct. What is the next one? Next one is, uh, I have this uh, tertiary carbon with uh, C2H5, we have HBr, so what is happening here is uh, bromine is getting attached here actually and OH is getting kicked out. Substitution is happening by a nucleophile, right, but the rearrangement also happened, right, you see OH was here, it becomes bromine came here. So this is special case where I have substitution attacked by nucleophile, so nucleophilic Substitution happen, nucleophilic substitution. So in this case, rearrangement also happen. So nucleophilic substitution with rearrangement. This is the type of this reaction. So nucleophilic substitution with rearrangement. Correct? It's a nucleophilic substitution with rearrangement reaction. Let's take this one. We have to find the relationship between the members of the following pairs. Are they structural or geometrical isomers or resonance contributors? So if you see these two guys, actually, if you see the position of ketone is changed, right? So it is structural isomer. Right? So it is structural isomer or position isomer. Actually. Correct. This guy, if you see, D are in the transposition. Here it is cis position. So this is geometrical isomer actually. This is geometrical isomer. In this case, if you see, uh, this bond broke actually, and you got this thing. So it's a resonance, right? This, this, if you transfer these two electrons to this oxygen, this, uh, this becomes neutral and this becomes positive. So resonance. So here we have to, for this bond cleavage, you have to show the arrow to show the electron flow. So if you see it's a free radical, right? So it will be a, by the fish hook actually. This bond broke and both of these got one electron each, so it's fish hook. So in this case, if you see, this guy OH minus came and this got some negative charge, right? So there is a, uh, this is nothing but if you see, there's a carbon here. There's a carbon here, right? And this carbon will have, let's suppose, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. This carbon will also have three hydrogens. Correct. This oxygen will attack this guy. Correct. And this this water will come out actually, right? This water will come out, so it will get a negative charge here actually. This whole thing, right? 
will come out. And this bond will break actually. This bond will break. This bond will break and there will be a negative charge. Correct. And this will be a negative charge. So here if you see, I have a carbocation formation that is a Br minus K. This bond broke and bromine took the electrons, the bromine got a negative charge and this got a positive charge. Correct. So in this case, electrophile was there and it attacked. There's a plus charge here, right? So what happens? This bond break broke. That means in this fashion, it's got a negative charge, it's got a positive charge, and this electrophile attacked this. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.